Dungeons and Dragons. And Junk Drawer. What's up, guys? Hello. We're fancy. We are dressed up for a dinner. For a dinner. Num num num. Strahd's dinner at 11 (laughs) a.m. Time Mm. is just like a concept, man. (laughs) The sun is up. Oh. (laughs) Yeah. Lots of nerves today. So. It's a holiday. Early dinner. Last epi, we uh, we went and attempted to save Vin. Uh, He is no longer being tortured, but in very rough shape. Uh, We fought the Death Knight. There were skeletons that appeared, and then the red shirts took care of them. Many died. Mm-hmm. R.I.P. Um, Bless down. <laughs> no! Um, and uh, we had a weird Kodiak bear show up and help us destroy a wyvern. Uh, we later discovered that it was friend of the show, Yeska. Yeska showed up. Is a werebear. Huh? Do you know that? Do you, I, I do. I do know that. I was here. I don't. Oh, you look so fancy. I wasn't sure that it was still you. Oh my god! Thank you so much. <laughs> I'm not wearing a tank top like yesterday. Just uh, <laughs> yeah. So our third and final chapter of this little part is uh, Thok and Rufio going to the dinner with Strahd. It's going to be a little different this time than it was uh, any other time because the role of Absidy will be played by Mike being played by Esmeralda being Absidy. So just let that sink in for a moment before you actually experience it. And the role of Shart will be played by Josh playing Erwin playing Shart. Number one customer. He's, he's been working on this all morning. I'm trying, man. <laughs> That's good. I have so many mattresses. <laughs> you, you sound Italian. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> it's a me, a Mario. <laughs> It's me, a mattress. It's out there. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. DM, whenever you are ready. Oh, I don't think I am. <clears throat> yeah, me All right. So, um, Thok, Rufio, with your final luck upon everyone, you dress up, you have your armor clinking, and you pres- you disguise self to make it look like you're wearing some fancy garb. Oh, no. I do. I'm wearing armor up oh. to the door. Only I'm disguised. Okay. Thok is only disguised as very fancy. What would you wear? Whatever the guards would be. I Silk guess. robe. Like, <laughs> a uh, kimono. A kimono. <laughs> would you wear like a, a military, like sailor kind of garb, or what would what would Thok think was fancy when he was before he died? Probably like a long sleeve collared but unbuttoned shirt and pants like <laughs> sure. not the abs Are the abs out no no oh, abs out. i didn't know okay. if you were going rico okay. suave so he, conservative he, he doesn't have abs oh, okay <laughs> he likes food very likes conservative food. okay and then as you see you see both erwin and esmeralda put on their hats and they transform into absidy and shart respectively absidy in his baby tux with a top hat to disguise that hat and shart uh he's gonna be wearing a straw cowboy hat and uh some <laughs> A nice flannel shirt with like a bolo tie and some nice Durango jeans. Just sounds right. <laughs> yeah, right. It's the only time you've ever seen Shart wear pants. And this it's not real. Seems very on brand. And we have a. I keep forgetting her name. The, uh, Visaya's is Visaya's dirt watching over the by the horses. Visaya, yeah. And you see Visaya put on her hat and she turns into a muddied up, kind of like commoner looking dirt. She nods at you, and she goes by the horses, and you see her cross her arms, staring at the castle. Dirt doesn't... His face doesn't do what your face is doing. <sighs> I don't think Strahd knows Dirt enough to know. Let's hope not. What his face does. Well, you guys have spent time with Absidy and Sharp before, so do your best. I will do my best impression. Number one... I am number one half-orc. Great. Maybe don't talk a lot. Okay. Um, I don't know. How does this sound? It's not the worst. You can talk more than him, which isn't a lot still. It's a low bar. Okay. All right. Uh... 
Don't we need a keyword to tell Steve when to teleport these guys in? Uh, are we the keyword? We're yeah. telling him when to. We... Oh He's yeah. Like, oh, you have a nice place. I'll here. let him. Or, or... I'll. I'll let them know when we're sitting at the table. I'll just do a. Wow, chair's very comfortable. Right. And Steve kind of like he's in the like he pops behind where the tent is and he's like the chairs are very comfortable. So I've heard. I have not been invited, <laughs> but I hear great things. It's actually pretty nice. Make sure you check out the there's like the wedding robe. There's like a whole bunch of robes. Have fun with this. Yeah, it's gonna be great. No, you know, as much fun as you can. <laughs> Understood. We'll try. Yes. This is. Out of Abs L. Out of character. Um, since we haven't gone yet, and Shart and Absidy as their regular forms are still there, mm -hmm. is this where we're going to discuss plans as us being our own characters for a second too? Oh, this isn't after we've left. No, I, I assume this is. You guys are. I assume you're up on the spire already, waiting mm -hmm. for us no. to. No, they teleport. They teleport. He teleports to the us uh, because we tell them the keyword, and that's when they. That's teleport. when we go. We're Got we have Strahd. Yeah. Okay. Then. I guess. I mean, you guys already kind of planned before they left. Well, we didn't really plan for after we get things done. That's the thing. It was to move up to dinner. Okay. Well, I just, we didn't yeah, really I mean, kind of like, like that was, we don't I mean, know where it's at. You can probably follow the, okay. the sounds. Okay. Because the, they don't know where the dining is. The they don't know where it's at yeah. either. <laughs> it's going to be really hard to tell you when we're coming through the entrance. Um, we're not going to know how to get there I, from I, the that's dungeon. That's me just trying to figure out <clears throat> plan wise. You don't get to figure it out. Okay. So I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, I'm mad with power you. Now. Ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Before we go, this will help you uh not die as easily again. And I tap him on the shoulder and cast Death Ward. Okay. On Rufio. And you see, uh, Thok, he kind of instills this radiant energy as he touches your shoulder, and the sheen kind of very quickly flashes over you, and it dissipates. And then... Thank you. You're welcome. This is this is what we've been planning for, so Yeah. Well No no hold back. Throw everything you got. Well good luck to both of you as your own characters. Uh me? <laughs> yeah, you. Oh. <laughs> good luck. Actual absidy. Yeah. Real absidy, <laughs> not Esmer yeah. absidy. You no. too. And I do the same. Yeah, there we go. Your shard again. Good luck. <sighs> Thank you. I'm gonna need it. Find him. Find us. Let's fucking end this. Dirt's there as well, because he hasn't left with the absolute mission yet. Stay safe. I'm. You too. Find the sword. I will. Just fuck shit up. Yeah, you can't turn back that you already told me you love me, so. I'm what? not. I would. No, it didn't happen. He said he what? loved me, I and didn't. I told him I loved him. I never said what. That's no. so nice. It is nice. You oh used the God. word love. No, yeah. I've never you used said it. The I don't know what that means. You're growing. No. Can I see if he's lying? Yeah. <laughs> Roll deception. Oh God. Oh. Seven. Fourteen. Fuck. <laughs> you know, you know he's lying. Your Aww. face gets a little flushed. You're like, no, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't say I love you guys. I didn't put my <laughs> big strong man. I'm a big strong man. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. So we'll. I'll walk out of the tent. Okay. And start heading towards the castle, and on the way up, I'll I'll tap, and I'll let them know after after you guys successfully finish your mission. Try and stealth in, and let me know when you're close so that we can have a bathroom break or so, get an excuse to get up from the table so you guys can then come back. Gotcha. It, can you, out of, so to DM, the, the things that we have, mm -hmm. what is their pickup radius? The range is a mile. It's a mile. But what is the, like, if it's a mic, how far can they be from here to hear it? Oh, like... Because what I want to know is if we can hear what's going on mm -hmm. in the back so that we're not lost when we come in, if we get into the You can dinner. hear, like, to an extent. You can hear a, a little bit of background noise. Okay. But it mostly just focuses on, on the voice. Okay. It, if one of you can leave your your 
transmitter on so that we can have the information we need when we get in there, I think that would be really helpful. We have to hold it. Oh, you do have to hold it? Mm -hmm. Can, 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 we, like, on it? can we like hold it down here? You can try. Like sit on it. Uh, how good's your sleight of hand? Mine? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I was never trained as a thief, so not was great. I. Uh, all right, yeah, I'll, I'll give it a shot. I'll try, but you're gonna have to listen real hard. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Yeah. What about uh, Esmeralda or? They don't have. We don't it's have. It's just them. the five. I know, but if you're gonna have it in your hand. Well, yeah. I need to also send them and let them know when we're. So if you want to get true, yeah. My it's um dex right to sleight of hand. Yeah, mm -hmm. I have a plus two. Mine's three. As oh, oh for three. Esmeralda. Yeah, um, we, we went over what hers was. Yeah, mine is uh, plus seven. What? Mm-hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna be with you the whole time, so I don't need mine. Yeah. Oh, I'm this guy now. I forgot. <laughs> no I take mine off. <laughs> okay. And hand it to Esmeralda. It's like try and keep it where they'll be able to hear. What kind I'll, of armor? Uh, I'll do, do my best. Have? You could do you can beat Esmeralda right now. You're fine. You don't have to do Absidy as Esmeralda. She's she, trying to be practicing. Advice. She's practicing. She's <laughs> getting in the headspace. Okay. Alright, and then we'll head towards the castle. Okay. The, you can hear your heartbeat in your ears as you go down this winding path to the gate. The wrought iron gate that Rufio, you remember falling off the mountain as you're... No, you were passed out. I was passed out. This this wrought iron you gate... You remember hearing this, about how you fell? <laughs> <laughs> terrible uh, of this terrible mountain. And as you, it slowly creaks open, you uh, follow this very long pathway all the way up to the front courtyard. You excited? So excited. Terrified. <laughs> Thick, cold fog swirls in this courtyard. Don't kill my girlfriend. Sporadic flashes of lightning lance the weeping clouds overhead as thunder shakes the ground. Through the drizzle, drizzle, you see torch flames fluttering on each side of the keep's open main doors. Warm light spills out of the entrance, flooding the courtyard. High above the entrance is a round window with shards of broken glass lodged into its iron frame. With the, the courtyard walls are about 90 feet high. Uh, the towers of the castle, it looks like it rises even higher. You can see the spires that you can guess where they're going to be going to. Um, let's see here. And then the open of the main doors are, I mean, they're pretty there. Uh, when you get to the center court gate, there is a massive wall that juts out to the connect, juts out to connect the outer walls of the castle with the keep. And it's a 20-foot wide, 20-foot tall archway offering passage through this connecting wall and is blocked by a rusting iron portcullis. Um, Those are my favorite feature. <laughs> yeah. So, you're able to kind of push it and you keep walking. You get up to these very onyx-looking doors with this deformed kind of man-bat face knocker with a wrought iron ring around its mouth holding it clenched between its fangs. I'm not touching that. And then I pull out the scythe and I'll knock with the scythe, or the, the blunt end of the scythe, and then I'll bamf it out. Okay. And as you do on the third knock and you bamf, the door opens. That's not ominous at all. I feel so safe right now. Have you met Zrod? Yes, m many times. It's Too many times. I'm not surprised. I can't believe I'm actually here. Mm hmm. Finally, I'm not going to talk much. <laughs> great, great. Now you know what? That's that. I, we should live I'm by the. I'm practicing. Yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Good. And then walk through the door. <laughs> okay. As you walk through the through the door, the ornate outer doors of the castle hang open, flanked by fluttering torches and iron sconces. Twenty feet inside the castle is a second set of doors. Um. <clears throat> so as you slowly approach, uh, let's see here. The doors in front of you, as you approach this, they suddenly swing open and they reveal a grand hall filled with the sound of organ music. Uh, a set of double doors to the west appears to be, or to lead to an exit from the castle. Uh, and overhead, in the vaulted entry foyer, four statues of dragons glare down, their eyes flickering in the torchlight. 
and it seems the organ music is coming from the east. Do we follow the shitty organ music, or...? Your uh, guess is as good as mine. I don't really even know where to go. I am following you. We go to the east. Go east. So as you move forward into the great entry, there are cobwebs stretched between the columns that support the vaulted ceiling of a great dusty hall dimly lit by sputtering torches and iron sconces. The torch torches cast odd shadows across the faces of eight stone gargoyles swatting motionlessly on the rim of a dome ceiling. Cracked and faded ceiling uh, frescoes are covered by decay. And double doors of bronze stand closed to the east, which is where your organ music is coming from. To the north, a wide staircase climbs down into darkness. A lit hallway to the south contains another set of bronze doors, through which you hear a sad and majestic organ tones. Perhaps I'm wrong. Maybe that's where it's at. The south. Um, south and as you meander, an elf with dark brown skin and long black hair descends this wide staircase, quiet as a cat. He wears a gray cloak over black studded leather armor and has a polished scimitar hanging from his belt. My master is expecting you. You look like a group of people that we know. Hmm. I'm Rahadin. Rufio. Pleasure. Oh, fuck. This is Absidy and Shark. Well. Wow. Oh. A What's pleasure, up? A pleasure to meet your most... You acquaintances. If you would please follow, I will bring you to the dining hall. As we follow him, I'm going to go, why are you not with the other Dusk Elves? The Dusk Elves and I have differing philosophies. I'd very much like to hear about that sometime. Well, perhaps over dinner. Sounds great. I look forward to it. Okay. So as you go towards the dining hall... This thing's a fucking mess... Uh, Torchlight, uh, this is the guest hall. So, Torchlight flutters against the walls of this vaulted hall. To the east is an arched hallway that stretches for 20 feet, ending at a spiral staircase that goes down, up and down. Uh, next to the hallway is a suit of armor, oiled and glistening. It stands at attention and a shallow alcove. To the west, large double doors hang slightly open, and a steady bright light escapes through the opening. Swells, more swells of organ music come from behind the doors, spilling their melody of power and defeat into the hell. Uh, and as you enter the dining hall, three enormous crystal chandeliers brilliantly illuminate this magnificent chamber. Pillars of stone against dull white marble walls supporting the ceiling. In the center of the room, a long, heavy table is covered with a fine white satin cloth. The table is laden with many delicate, delectable foods. Roasted beast, basted and basted in a savory sauce. Roots and herbs of every taste, very far away from Denny's that you've all been eating. And sweet fruits and vegetables. Places are set for each one of you. You see a Rufio, Payne, Thok, your last name. Garrosh. Garrosh. Uh, Shart and absolutely Longshire. You also see a place set for Farrah Grayer. Um... There are, with each place setting, there's delicate china and silver, and each place has uh, a crystal goblet filled with an amber liquid that you can uh, pick from here, Thok, that has a sweet amber kind of sickly smell. At the center of the far west wall, between floor to ceiling mirrors, stands a massive organ. Its pipes blare out, a thunderous melody that speaks in its tone of greatness and despair. And seated at the organ, facing away from you, a single caged figure pounds the keys in raptured ecstasy. The figure suddenly stops, and as a deep silence falls over the dining hall, it slowly turns towards you. I, I'm gonna just use cat, uh, eyes to the grave mm -hmm. just to look around. Okay. Uh, just, it just, I see undead in the sixty feet. So you're getting <laughs> like it's the figure, the only one. You don't get a hint of undead. No. Okay. Mm -mm. That's it. Okay. As you, as your humble host turns around, he lights up. Isn't he not dead? Rahadin, you didn't tell me our guests were here. 
I'm sorry, my lord. They just arrived. I wanted to make sure that you were... Didn't want to interrupt you during your practice time. Please, all of you, I'm so excited. Please sit. As he starts playing on the keys, just lightly. You have to excuse me. I don't mind sitting at the table, but I can't really eat anything. You know, appearances. As he keeps striking the keys. Speaking of appearances, I want you to know I'm not here for shenanigans, but, and then I'll uh, mask of many faces, <clears throat> and I'll be in my fine outfit, my fine mm-hmm. clothes. I'll go, I'm not here to start, but know that we're willing to finish. Of course. I wouldn't invite you to dinner if you weren't willing to finish, Rufio. You always take a lady out. Ding, ding. Rahadin gestures, he open, he pulls your chair as one by one, you guys sit, he scoots you in, and he sits off at the far. I'll put, uh, I don't know what is that. This jump here. Put me in the middle. Here? Yeah. So, Organ's gonna be or, here. Or, closest to stride? Ooh, closest second. or furthest from stride? Where do you want to be? Closest or furthest? <sighs> put me closer. Oh, he's closer? I would say closer, 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 closer because we're that's, trying to protect that is closer. Oh, that's Rahadin, and this is Shrug. Where, where Shrug is the, right um, here. The placemats? No. Put me the over. The placemats? Put me, or the, the, place, I want to the name Oh, the place cards. That's right. Because we don't we don't choose. He chose for us. That's oh. true. Okay. Oh, so where are the place cards? Sorry. I forgot that they were... Oh. Shit. Well, perfect. That's what you wanted to be anyway, so... Done. And then which one was... Fearers? Uh, fearers I know it's not. would probably be here, but okay. you can kind of scooch over. As I sit down, I'll like. And Rahadin like, will be there. Push the cape back mm-hmm. in a motion and also touch. And I'll go, man, these chairs are very comfortable. Yes, they were upholstered by John Weather himself. Oh, Weather's original. They are originals. I've heard that somewhere before. Oh, yes. Uh, I believe Lady Watcher had some Weather originals. Hmm. Shame what happened to her. I haven't heard. Oh. We'll have to talk about it over dinner. Oh, please. Uh, as you do that, you hear in your head, Gotcha, dude. <laughs> Are they comfortable? Don't answer that. <laughs> and you're like, Well, you, no, Esmeralda and uh, Rufio can hear that. And you're like, So Strahd, and you notice he's in this very royal garb. He is unarmed. Uh, coat, frock open. Turns around and there is a setting over here for him. Very large uh, chair. And he it seems like he glides. You, you've been close to Strahd when he's in battle. When he's the mad king. Yeah. You haven't seen him when he's been a host. And so we'll see him glide to here. And he sits down, and there's just a goblet. He doesn't... He has the plate, and it's full with food. And he goes... I cannot eat, but... I can still smell. I miss the taste of... Meat. It turns to ash in my mouth. Cursed. So please, tell me... About your journey, your travel... Oh, where to begin? Please. I mean, I feel like you've been there with us just about the whole time. Oh, don't get gushy on me now. It just feels like we're connected. Connected. Hmm. That's very interesting that you say that. Why do you think so? Well, I mean, it's no small feat to test adventurers and warriors. Not a lot of people make it here. There was one group with another half-orc. However, they didn't seem worthy enough. Eventually, I will perish. And what happens to my beloved Barovia? Maybe it thrives. Who knows? Like, oh, be crazy, right? I don't even know. You've been here for almost a year. Yeah. You've been amongst the people. Mm-hmm. The werewolves. Yeah. The revenants. The avant-garde of 
meandering human life, and, and yet they eat each other. They turn on each other. They fight. They need someone to keep in line. And you're the one to keep them in line. For now. What happens? Think? What happens when you're no longer here? And that's what I'm trying to determine. Are you picking an heir? Is that what's happening? Is that is that what this is? It's a test. Is it a tryout? Year long tryout. If you think you can do a better job, by all means. I actually know I can do a better job, but we don't have to. We're not here to talk about me. We're here to talk about the journey, right? Yes, that's, the that's journey, please. Let's not talk business that's, right now. Yeah, no, right, no, no, no. Rahadin. Over, over drinks, over drinks. Rahadin's like. <laughs> <laughs> So please, tell me of your tale. Thok, you are a, a newer companion. I brought you here specifically, because I... They were getting pretty banged up a lot. I'm a fan. I'll let you know. I am a fan. Would you're, you say you missed, you're losing a ram? You don't have a ram? Is that what you said? I, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm like... I, just, this ear is like a little clogged. I don't know. You should get that fixed. Oh, I should. Hold on. I got it. It's fine. Sorry, Thok. No, you're good. Uh, no, it was it was a pleasure. Thank you for uh, bringing me and inviting me to this lovely place. You were so pol- Look how polite he is. Thanking me for welcoming you into my home. Absidy, how are the mattress industry going? Uh, well, some would say that it's booming, but uh, I have it mostly on hold right now, as I'm sure you could imagine. I could. I could imagine. Mm. Shards, any word of your brother, that poor dear? <clears throat> you. He's a little mad at you right now. Um, I would avoid eye contact. The ear. I'm sorry about that. Maybe Rufio can lend him one. Ha! Huh. Yeah, he's not. Yeah. <laughs> I thought we wanted to talk business. If we want to instigate, that's a different thing. Oh, no, I need to, no. I need to wear different clothes for that. Different clothes. I, yeah. I do apologize. I don't mean to press. I'm just... It's been a while since I've had guests and Rod and you're very dear to me. However, the same conversation over and over can be quite droll. And Rahadin's like, yes. After a while, it can get stale. I do understand, so... So, how did, how did you two come to be partners in crime um before we go to that i want to talk about your partner in crime which one fear is nowhere to be seen oh well the reason for that is uh i don't trust you and uh he's out by the horses that is a shame i did have a birthday present for him he turned 13 not too long ago no Right before we started traveling here, yeah? Yes, before you started traveling. It's a shame. While we were traveling? While Rufio we were, would know that. While we were traveling. Yeah, mm -hmm. while we were traveling. Such a shame. Well, I suppose you could always give it to him for me. Of course. I'll give him your best. So, Rahadin and I, uh, there was a nasty uh, complication with the army of Dusk Elves, as you know. Big castle, everyone wants the keep of Ravenloft. Rodin chose sides. His people were obviously in the wrong. He went for someone who was just, right, powerful. You side with the ones that you know are going to be in your best interest. I'll turn and look at Rahadin. Does that mean you want to join us? Is that. And Rahadin looks at you and he smirks. And Strahd goes, oh, they're so cocky. Do you remember when you were this young and cocky? It reminds me of when I was in the war. When you were, oh, I'm sorry, what was that? I was in the war. Ah, you, was it just you? Was it, do you, did you know other people? Were you familiar with? Of course. I knew all of my men, and I watched them die one by one. <sighs> yeah. It's a shame. It is a shame. It sucks. However, when you're as old as I am, the faces are just memories now. Oh, 
man, Rufio, I just want to be a dick so bad. But I don't want to start the fight yet. And you hear <laughs> Steve's, Steve's in your head. Use the cards, my dude. What? Would you say that uh, any of those men that you unfortunately have outlived mm. were like family to you? Yes, uh, my mother and my father. Um, Was your brother nice? And you see him, and he kind of like his Sergey, jaw right? Clenches. That was it, Sergey. That's that's his name. Yes. Oh, very perceptive. Wow, oh, just lucky. I have a I have a thing with names. I'm just really good at guessing. With names. Absidy? That's that's his thing. Man, look at me. It's you're very perceptive. Not much know about Sergey. Perhaps you found like a diary. Diary, diary. I, I definitely didn't find a diary. It wasn't mm. me. No, not me. That's something. Not much of a reader. No, you don't look like one. No. If it's I, not I leave that to, to I leave that to fear. He reads me books. It's smart. It's true. No, my brother was very kind. He let love cloud his judgment. Love for my girlfriend, soon to be wife. Unfortunately, there were some circumstances that she was taken from me. Hmm. But, truth be told, she has come back as your Irina. So that's your girlfriend, fiance. Soon to be, okay, fiance. Yes. Then it would be just so terrible to know that, like, she's not here. No. She's also not your fiancé. Absidy. I got it. Ah. Irina, she's... She's beautiful. You've seen the way she's fight, fought. She's been like this every time she has reincarnated. Dozens of times. We go through this dance of... She throws herself off of the the walls of Castle Ravenloft. I stalk. Rodden, you have seen at least the past three times. And then, always, truth be told, she comes back. She always, always comes back. Can I roll insight? Sure. Okay. That's not terrible. Natural one. <laughs> That's terrible. You can't really discern if he's telling the truth or not, Thok. I don't know if oh, I know that he's telling the truth. That's the thing. Mm. He's not telling the truth about him being his girlfriend, though. That's what I was checking and failing at. <clears throat> oh, so well, Rufio's gonna... now just confused. I was going to say, well, I mean, you guys have read through the Tome of Straw. That's a thing that we have. We yeah, know that. So Anubis was the one that told me that Tatiana always ended up with Sergey, or was destined to end with yeah. Sergey. So, and that Strahd has. He's obsessed with her. And you told us that, right? Yeah, I told okay. you all that. And so I told you, you that Anubis was the one that gave you Yeah, yeah, yeah. Natural like, one, but like, still. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, this guy's good. <laughs> He'd give Absidy a run for his money. So, in all this time, hmm. you've had on this plane, yes, you've built a dynasty an army mm. gained power land you have the woman of your dreams what more is left for you I retire into the sunset figuratively speaking of course hopefully not with Irina Tatiana and I live out the rest of her days as she comes back and Throws herself from. Oh wait, we're not. We're not. Okay, we're not going with actual events. Got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She is quick to rest, rash decisions. You humans are all impulsive. What? Never. I take out the. <laughs> 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 uh, what? Other than this lovely meal that you've prepared and he's Rufio's gonna cut into the beast and 
take a bite. It's the most decadent piece of meat you've had. You've had Denny's for the past month, (laughs) and before that you had fucking borscht and rations. It melts in your mouth. As a... Excuse me. Are you crying? A little bit. I don't... It's fine. Um, It's been so long. I know. I know. I'm so sorry. Barovia can be harsh without the comforts. It's not very cultural. I would I would infuse a little bit of culture, maybe teach them how to season something. Oh no, would you like a different part of seasoning? Uh, oh, no, no, no. I would like them to know how to season anything. Well, this was roasted on, seared on top of a, uh, a block of just Himalayan salt. It's fantastic. I love it. It's phenomenal. Thank you. You, you? When he, when he says that they don't know how to season anything, mm-hmm. I just give him a glare. Shards uncultured. I know. This is, I think, the only time I've ever seen you wear pants. It's a, it's a hassle to get him to do so. I imagine there's a lot of kicking, like a toddler. I got formal for you. I see that bolo tie, very classy. <laughs> so what more can you tell us of your, your past, Mr. Von Zarovich. Please, Mr. Von Zarovich was my father. Mr. Strahd. Just Strahd. I think we're formal enough, Rufio. I was just told to respect my elders, so I didn't know. I just... Very wise, but as your elder, please, don't be so formal. Loosen the tie a little bit. Sure, yeah. I'll loosen the tie a little bit. Mm-hmm. We're here for comfort. You're my guests. If you are free to walk about the cabin. Any, uh... Any... Do you have anything for us? You got, you got a little present, a little knickknack? Like a toy? No. Not, what not did quite. you get dirt for his birthday? You didn't even tell me that. I'm kind of upset. I want That's to be really a part for of him it. to find out. Is it not? If it's a severed head, I'm going to be very upset. <laughs> it's not a severed head. Is it a gun rack? I don't know what a gun is. <laughs> Hi, Wayne. <laughs> you still haven't really told us much about your past. Like, uh, uh, it seems you know it. more about my past than you let on. You knew about oh, Sergei? I, f- I forgot to say, uh, Anubis sends his regards. You never call, I you never write. Don't quite know that name. No. Why... Why isn't Sergey here? I mean, you are this everlasting, ever-living behemoth. Correct. Why didn't Sergey choose this path to, you know, forever be with Irina? Because Sergey was a weak man. And I am more than the land. I am the land. I am the ancient. I am Barovia. We'll see. <laughs> so sure of yourself. Not sure of myself. I'm sure of uh, your time being up. It's time for a change. Mm. But I, I'd love to be able to watch you ride off into the sunset, and I'll wave as you go, all by your fucking self. <laughs> Rod, uh, I remember being like you. I remember being like you, too. Helplessly in love, nothing pulling me back, but a dark force that one makes deals with for love. Absidy is a good choice too. A good choice to lead. Mm, I, I agree. You're not going to get a complaint out of me. See, this is my issue. You're all good choices. Short can command an army. He could move from south to east, or south to north, east to west, conquer this entire plane. I see Thok. Destroying undead. Have you considered controlling undead? Abominations can work to your own advantage. Trust me, I know. What does Anubis exactly want from you? A master of death. 
Perhaps a throne back that he once lost? Something you can reclaim. Just need the power for it. Oh, I'm ch I am shattering. Please, please eat. Uh, if you'd like, I'm more than happy to accompany this dining with music. I, you know what? I would be honored if you would serenade us while we eat the, the lovely, bountiful spread you've put out in front of us. Rufio. Got a little brown right here. Yeah. He winks, and he starts playing the organ again, and it's just tense. Rodden is just sitting there. As soon as he turns around, I'm going to roll my eyes and go, <laughs> Rodden's just like... So, you, uh, you guys are free to talk to each other while Strahd <clears throat> plays for you. What I'm going to... Uh, sorry, wrong word. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my hand in my pocket, because that's mm -hmm. where I put the necklace that Doc gave me, mm -hmm. so that way I can put my hand on it, so that way I can try and pick up noise. Okay. So... Uh, as you try to collectively get this noise, it's about 30, 30 minutes or so of just kind of idle, like, how are your potatoes? They're good. I would like another second helping. And the minute you see it, it just, you see another helping on your plate. Mm -hmm. And at about the 40 minute mark, you start feeling the castle rumble. Like, <laughs> and Strahd stops playing. Are oh. earthquakes frequent in Barovia? That seems a bit odd. Must be construction. Oh, Shard. And Strahd stops playing. He goes, I don't believe so. I've been here for an extended time. I haven't really run to many earthquakes. I mean, even a broke clock? A broke clock shook this entire room? I mean, no, but a broke clock is right twice a day. So, I mean, it could have been an earthquake. Sorry, that was me. I accidentally, my hand slipped, and I used thaumaturgy to start making the ground rumble. Very, very impressive Paulo trick. What else can you do with that? Oh, well, I could do this, and I take the torches, mm -hmm. and make them brighter, and then well, look at that. dim them back down. As you do, start you see the colors on them. You see, like when it's bright light, you see the veins that are kind of part of straw. They're just thick purple blue veins that as the, the brighter it gets you can see how pale and paper thin his skin is it comes back down to oh wow you hold a very powerful magic cleric that's that's, that's not much it's while this interaction is happening mm -hmm. I'm like in my head screaming to wizard Steve asking about the other question like what's the other question there's another question Every once in a while, like, I have a nervous twitch in my hand that I just can't control it, and it just makes the ground rumble. Sorry. <laughs> That's... I had uh, a man in my care that had something like that. He would swear uncontrollably every <laughs> once in a while. That's fair. <sighs> you see him go back to his playing. Is there a, is there a dessert portion of this? Is that a... I'm, it's been so long since I've had anything sweet. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> what is your, what? What do you desire? And you see him. He glides back down to his throne, his chair, and he just kind of slouches. Uh, you know, I love, I love a good cake, a good pastry of some kind, very sweet, something maybe a little, a little berry on it. Oh, it would, oh, it would, of course, like a tart. Yeah, of course. Of Let's course. do that, Rodden. If you could, please, um. Tell the chef to prepare tart, 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 tart. Shark doesn't like when you call him that. My apologies. A big wedge of pie. Pie would be great. He likes pie. He likes pie. And Radin goes, have fun with dessert. And he exits. And so he leans and he gets his goblet. It might take a small moment. So, you can't eat, but you can drink? You see in the goblet, it's a thick, viscous, blood red. Oh, blood. got it, got it, got it. Sustenance. Don't we all need it? No reason to not indulge in finer delicacies. I do have a wine cellar, of course. That's for my guests. 
Oh, I'm not partaking this evening. I, I expect to be doing some physical activity later. Sex. I... Sex. Oh. Well, more power to you. Thank you. So, speaking of sex, like, huh, right? Uh, was sacrificing your humanity for a girl who never loved you worth it? Was that something you, you chalk up to in the wind column? Is that a... Is that a W for... For CS, Count Strahd, is that a thing? you like... Oh, boy. <laughs> can, I, can I see from his facial reaction? You see the the jaw fucking clench. You see a little bit of blood trickle down. He must have cut something in his mouth. Like a hit a spot. <sighs> I mean, as much as you want... I know... You call yourself Strahd, but like... Should have just should have just changed it to Sergey, and maybe you can trick her. You know, like that would have been so much better, probably. <laughs> oh, back. and as an added bonus, you're also cursed to this land. So, like, was it was it worth it? Are you happy about the choices you made? You feel good about it? That question is so on brand for Rufio, by the way. That's why. <laughs> What's a fan? Fantastic question. Thank you. May I may I propose a, a question of my own? Oh, please. Finding your parents' killer. Mm-hmm. Pummeling him to the ground. Yeah. The squelching. Mm-hmm. Does that make up for the lost childhood you had? It doesn't make up for the lost childhood, but. Do you miss your mother's embrace? I miss a lot of things about my parents and about my childhood. Mine as well. Yeah, except the things that I miss loved me back. My parents loved me very much. Not who I'm talking about. Hmm. <sighs> well... As I've said before, you are free to walk about the cabin, or you would like to wait for dessert. Where would you, uh, where would you advise we go? What's, what's the, the coolest place in this entire castle? What am I going to look at and go, oh my god, I need to be the new Strahd. <laughs> There are two places I, I very much enjoy. There's the dungeon, which uh -huh. is a torture room, balcony. See right into it. I currently have someone brother going through some trials. Okay. And then there's the catacomb. Beautiful. Marble. My parents are buried there. Your parents are buried there? Mm. Where's Sergei buried? In the catacomb. Hmm. Interesting. It is interesting. All of my wives, or if you choose to accept the gift, all of your wives, they each have their own place. Of course, if you choose to turn, you work on different projects. <laughs> Could get quite lonely. Orgies, though. Hey, you're speaking my language. That's, I'm speaking a language. It is a language. Mm -hmm. Where, uh, if, if we decide to disembark and, and walk around this fantastic piece, piece of architecture, where will you be? I will be here. Just want to make sure that we can find you again. Oh, I'll be right around the corner. I love to hear that. <laughs> Do you want to hold hands? No, I'm afraid not. I feel like your hands are clammy. Not particularly. Not today. Mm, Unfortunately gone, not. You don't make me tingle the way some other people do. Yes. <laughs> the way some other people do. Bab City makes me tingle. Sure. Guess I've never told you that before. Well, considering you really don't like the things that I do, I guess that would make sense. I don't agree with a lot of things that have happened. Don't know if you've seen that or. Oh sure, yeah. Sure, to we'll extent. uh, we'll we'll go meander. 
Oh, please, by all means. We'll be back for dessert, of course. Oh, of course, of course, of course. So excited. Please. And I'll I'll get up, and uh, as I get up, I'll uh, I'll like do like a little bow, mm-hmm. and turn around and start walking towards something. I don't know where the fuck I'm going. Yeah. <clears throat> and uh, as you guys all start skirting out, uh, Shaw is gonna look at you. Absinthe is gonna go make sure your leg doesn't scuttle the floor. Ooh, didn't like that. <sighs> the. I just have them polished. Don't drag. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. As as I get up, mm-hmm. I also take a, a cup. Mm-hmm. Just just to have it. <laughs> <laughs> Taking a souvenir. Yeah, this is mine now. <laughs> glug and I drink, like yeah. eye contact power move. Yeah. Glug glug glug. You know he doesn't say glug glug glug, right? I say, and I just walk away. <laughs> I say nothing. I just follow. I, I look. Gi- you look, and he looks at you, and he goes, "He's given me the gift before. Why did he bring you back? Think about that." Then you hear the organ music start playing again. Okay, so we are. Back into the guest hall. Yeah. His perception's probably like a thousand. Oh, a hundred percent. I mean, I could have rolled deception, but he didn't give me an opportunity to. It wasn't deception. You didn't have to fake anything. <laughs> like I said, I knew he knew. Yeah, Carlos is like... Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. He wanted to see how long maybe the roost was going to be. So, you're back in the guest dining hall as... He's his back is to you, and as soon as the door closes, the organ music stops. I want to know what he is. I looked, and he does not come up as undead. Ah, oh, boy. Okay. So, well, so can we drop this? Yeah, just drop it. <laughs> he knows. <laughs> like, I thought I did a good. Shark. Oh, you did great. And you slowly but surely see Rod in with the dome platter, and he goes, I'll have dessert inside. And you see him, and he just, he walks by you, opens the door. Everything is dark in the dining hall. As he looks at all of you, smirks, and you see him close the door, and it clicks closed. Is there any way in or out of this room that I see? There are the spiral staircase that's to your right. It looks like there's another spiral staircase to the south. And then there's a great staircase to the north. Okay. Would I know if these staircases go to the spires? From looking in outside and kind of being able to figure out where we are currently. You might have like a rough guesstimate. And that one crayon drawing we have. <laughs> and that Thok has a disgusting ass crayon drawing. <laughs> <laughs> what was that crayon drawing of, anyways? It was the, one it of was the, the first floor. It was like the third floor or something. So Because he had like the second floor. Mm-hmm. So this, now, we're doing this now. I mean, do, you, do we really have a choice? I mean, are we doing this now? Is this. Yeah. Can I one more question before yeah. we start? Yeah, what's up? Uh, what are you? Who, wait, who are you at? Strahd. Oh, Strahd's we're, right no, we're, we're not there. with Strahd. We walked out. Uh, you walked out. Oh, I thought hall. we walked back in. I, no, I thought you, you like, wanna... did a fast travel. Oh, where if you, you, like, oh, you walk... walked around. Now you're back. If Oh, no, no, no. You uh, you no. are free to explore the castle. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay. Um, <clears> I'll turn and look at Thok. I'll be like, well, he knows. So of course we he need knows. to. We need Are you to surprised link up. he knows? No, not at all. I just figured we it would be worth a shot. Uh, we need to find Absidy, Shark, and Dirt. Well, and you guys need to get out to the front lines. You need to be able to help everyone else storm the castle. Do you want me to scout? S- I can turn into a raven. S- see if you can find Shark, Absidy, and Dirt, and then get out. Go to the front lines. Help your people. Show we them need how to get back here. 
They need to know how at to get least back tell here. them. Tell them how to get back to this this area or where we are at least. Yes, I will do that. Thank you, Erwin. And then I, I, you dip. Yeah, I do the the raven thing. I turn you into a the raven. Snap and and Whoa. fucking bastard! I'm gonna drag my foot the whole way out of here. Um, I support that. Before I go, though, don't know how long you're gonna have until you start, but I'm gonna go ahead and. Go ahead and go up to Rufio, touch him on mm-hmm. the shoulder, give him a kiss, and cast Protection from Good and Evil. Okay, what does Good that job. do? It'll last for ten minutes, and it'll give you resistance to anything fiend, fey, or undead. Okay. Is the spell in the kiss? It's touch, so... <laughs> so yes. Sure. So yes? Okay. In the sense, yes. What level spell is it? It's a first level spell. So just a smooch. So no cut, no tongue. Okay. No tongue. No, there is <laughs> definitely no tongue. Painting a scene. Whole lot of teeth. Whole lot of teeth. She's better than that. I like when Justin plays her. <laughs> yeah, so. It's better when Justin plays my girlfriend. Essentially, just so that way you guys know, protection from evil and good, sorry, I read it wrong initially, uh, lasts up to ten minutes. Uh, until the spell ends, one willing creature you touch is protected against certain types of creatures, aberrations, celestials, elementals, fey, fiends, and undead. This protection grants several benefits. Creatures of those type have disadvantage on attack rolls against the target. The target also can't be charmed, frightened, or possessed by them. If the target is already charmed, frightened, or whatever, uh, then... Uh, there's a, they make a new saving throw against that target. Okay. Or against that. So you have, Strahd will have disadvantage against you for the next 10 minutes. On everything. Uh, mm-hmm. As far as we know. Yeah. As long as he fits those categories. That's the hope. <laughs> yeah. Faith, <laughs> Heener, Undead. Because that's the thing, he didn't flip his Undead. Didn't that, that's yeah. my biggest, like, Ugh. Can I, okay. So, we have, we have a little bit of time, right? You I'm gonna, have- I'm gonna cast a Detect Magic. Um, and I'm gonna look around. Do I? Does anything light up? Anything? Do you get the from the area that you originally went in? You get kind of like blips from there. Okay. And it feels like the blips are moving. Feels like the blips are moving. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm, from from inside the dining hall? N- no. no, from where we came from. Correct. Where the gargoyles were. Hmm. Okay. Uh, there is a shit ton of magic stuff that way, where we came from. I'm pretty sure, pretty sure, it's the gargoyles, but I don't know for certain. Well, if we're doing this now, are we doing this now? You start hearing a, a churning as it's starting to come from the the west. <sighs> Uh, and or from the great entry hallway, as you see, three scaled hands, <laughs> three sets of scaled paws on all fours, as three red dragon wormlings appear in front of the entryway. Mm. Have I left yet? You I, don't, just, I didn't you say just that gave I him a kiss. Him. I said, yeah. That, yeah, I just gave him a kiss. I didn't walk. So your hand's still on his shoulder. You're like, ah. Roll initiative. Oh, well, that's not <laughs> gonna last. <laughs> All right. Well. Yeah. Do you have our little? Do we have a map for this? Are we gonna use that as the? We can use that. Yeah. Oh, hold on. That's fine. He's out. Yeah. Can I play one of the dragons? <laughs> yeah. Let's do it. Okay. Let's kill a, him. I think I have a green dragon. They're wor- they're wormlings. They're not. Oh. Um. Esmeralda doesn't have a plus on initiative, so what is the... Dex. Dex? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. <laughs> a thousand. It didn't actually help that much, but... So pretend the table isn't there. Should we flip it over on the other side? Is there anything? No, there's it, it oh, okay. It doesn't really matter. And then we just need to put someone out there as Peggy. Just put Shart. Yeah. Shart's Peggy? Shart's Peggy. No. Peggy's Peggy. Oh, Peggy's Peggy. Uh, Peggy. Peggy's Peggy. Okay, uh, let's see here. So I rolled them. I'm just gonna move this. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yep. 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 Fucking pencil. Here, I got one here. <laughs> I was like, I have this one. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. 
We're doing it live, guys. They take D10 psychic damage. Do they? Okay, who got uh, 20 and over? 22. Okay. 15 and over. 15. Okay, fuck. I know. The cleric isn't going less this time. Uh, I'm gonna just guess. 14. Oh, nice. Mm. Oh. Yeah, my dex is plus four. So. Of course. Yeah. Okay, Rufio, you're up, bud. I'm gonna push on the door behind us. I'm gonna push. Does it does it do anything? Does it, it open? It gives. You can open it. Yeah, I'm gonna open the door. Okay, and the lights come back on, and Strahd is sitting sitting at the end of the dining hall. There's that big, the, all these tarts laid out. This giant cake, and he's sitting there like this. And Rodin is kind of to the side of the door. You see his hand on his belt as he sits. And I'm going to walk back in. I'm still in my my fine clothes okay. as well. I'm going to walk back in and, and turn around and look at Thok and uh, Esmeralda. And I'm going to like kind of herd us back in and close the door behind us. Okay. Um... It's going to be action to see if you can close the door. That's fine. They're going to, I mean, they're going to have to take their action to try to herd in. Um, So we'll say you get in. And then I'm holding action to close the door when they run in. Yep. So, Fock, you're next up. So do you start dipping? I go in, and then I'm going to hold my action to use Thaumaturgy to slam the doors Mm -hmm. when she runs in. Okay. To help assist the doors close. You see the wormlings, their, their wings spread out. And they're gonna fly. So one's gonna get in. The second one's gonna fly in. I'll say this one gets right to it as it's Esmeralda's turn, and you're kind of like face to face with this red dragon wormling. Um, okay, and then I'm going to, I guess just run in but as i'm doing i'm gonna grab the rock and just be like hurry <laughs> <laughs> okay uh and then rufio it's it's your turn so, this so do we do we close it thok and i together we close the one out at least so we'll just redo this piece <laughs> uh, and then oh, where'd my straw go don't worry I have another one <laughs> I have so many oh he's this over one? there yeah, yeah. It's that one. Uh, I think that's Rahadin okay yeah and you're able to let me roll their initiative All the tensions are high. Um, I flew away too early. <laughs> oh, poor Joshy Poo. Oh, no. <clears throat> well, why. I'm one of the the dragons. You're in. You're in route. You want to get me a glass of water, babe? Yeah, no. I got you. Okay. <laughs> Sick. This water, you want a you want a soda? You want a Lacroix? Yeah, that'd be great. Actually, that's that on. Uh, lemon. LaCroix would be great. It makes them feel useful. So I'm going to turn... It's almost beer 30 at this in, point, I'll, so... <laughs> I can talk to Strahd without using an action, right? Yeah. yeah just, is this really how you want this to start? I wanted... I have pets. You have pets. What do you call Short? I call him an accomplice, but... My accomplices, I don't control them. They do whatever they want to do. I think that that's bullshit, and you could absolutely call them off if you so chose no stop murder well Help. I guess uh, I should probably get more comfortable then and I drop my disguise do it baby oh. <laughs> <laughs> he's a man just so everyone knows we forced him to do this we did 
This was not by my choice. I've never been prouder in my life. I'm so glad you had that shirt. <laughs> Thanks, pressure. Nick Williams. We know you're watching. <laughs> okay. Not. And Rufio, you're up, my guy. Uh, sorry about your pets. And I'm going to run uh, 5, 10, 15, 20 mm -hmm. right here. And I'm going to turn and look at Strahd and go... Hey, you saw my face get fucked up, right? Yes, it was hilarious. Yeah, now I can do this, and I cast Lightning Bolt okay. through both of these. Is there a save? Mm. Uh, yes, hold on, I have the tab Lightning open. Bolt. If it'll load. <clears throat> uh, it forms a line of 100 feet long and 5 feet wide. Mm -hmm. It blasts out in any direction I choose, and each creature in line must make a dexterity saving throw. The creature takes 8d6 lightning damage on a failed save, or half as much on a successful one. Okay. What's your DC? Uh, I think my DC's 15. It'll say on your spells. Yeah, it'll be on your spell page. 15. Yep. Okay, give me your damage. 1, 2, 3. Do you need more? What is no, it? I, have one. I was gonna say if you need one of Peggy's. I gave him so many D8s. He has enough D8s. No, it's a D6. D6. He has so many D6s. Like he has so many D6. dice. Like a D6. I think it's D6. Say that like it's a bad thing. Shut up, Blue Hunter Sean. <laughs> eight, eight D6. Eight D6. Yeah. That's so many. I'm so excited. <sighs> I have three here. Six. Oh, just give me two more. I'll give you Trez D6. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> This is the D6 of <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, 12, 15, 20, 25, 29, 31, 33. 33? 33. Okay. On a, 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 a failed save. Okay. And then 16, 17. 17 on a fail. Okay. Of lightning damage. Oh, and then it sucks. ignites flammable objects in the area that aren't being worn or carried. You see this energy pulse through this wormling, and you see its skeleton for a brief second. As this one fails at saving throw and that one, it looks like it's able to dodge out of the way as it gets shocked. Okay. Uh, the far and one failed? Or far one succeeded? The, yeah. Yeah. And that's one of those. And next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cast... Uh, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I'm going to cast. Uh, do I have? Yes, I'm going to look at the one in front of me. Mm -hmm. I'm going to cast Mind Spike. Okay. At first level. I'm guessing there's a save. Uh, yes. What's it is save? a 15 Wisdom. Okay. Uh, on a fail, it's 3d8 psychic damage. Mm -hmm. uh, it's half as much on a successful. On a failed save, you always know the target's location until the spell ends, but only while the two of you are on the same plane of existence. On well, a successful save? Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Or no, on a, a failed save, I know this. So okay. if it's successful for me. Uh, while you have this knowledge, the target can't become hidden from you, and if it's invisible, it gains no benefits from that condition against you. Okay, go ahead, roll your damage. Uh, 18. 18, so that's going to be half to 9. It didn't make it safe. Okay. And this is the one directly in front of him? Yes. Yes. Okay. Anything else? Uh. Nope. All right. Doc. Are we going after <laughs> Yeah, it's go time, baby. And as a bonus action, mm -hmm. I'm going to cast Spiritual Weapon. Okay, let's next, do it. Next to the one next to Rufio. Mm -hmm. And it's going to swing. Natural 16. It's been so long since I've done this. Mm -hmm. It's plus my spell DC. Plus 7. That'll hit. All right. 23. Good, a 23 hits. <laughs> right. Uh, oof. 12 bludgeoning damage? Or, yeah. Bludgeoning. 12 bludgeoning? Or force damage. 
I don't know if it matters. Okay. Um, that's my bonus action. As my action, I'm going to use a cantrip uh, and cast Sacred Flame on Strahd. Okay. So I'm just going to point and uh, he has to do a dex save of 15. Okay. Then you see it <laughs> as it goes amongst Strahd and it drops back down as he sits there. Okay. It's... And you see him, he's just like... Okay. Red N- Wormling. Nice try, Thok. <laughs> that was worth a shot. And he kind of... You see him as he looks, he flicks, and the door flicks open as the... If you want to put the third... Fuck! Red Wormling. Um, and you see Strahd, and he goes, I like to call this one the Ring of Fire. And they're all going to do their fire breath. Way to give um, up that rang. Right? <laughs> Everybody, let's see here. So, I mean, everyone's going to get smacked. So we'll do for Esmeralda and Rufio, that you're going to take, do your deck save. Um, and then the one that hasn't been hit is going to go for Thok. So Thok, do a deck save. Uh, Am I at disadvantage for a dex? I believe so. Because I'm in armor. No, it's just a deck save. That's stealth. You're uh, at disadvantage for stealth only. Okay. Uh, on this cheat, it only gives me a uh, saving throw for wisdom. So then you would just use the regular... Uh, regular stealth. Oh. Okay. Mm. We're starting strong, y'all. Yes. We're starting Feels strong. Good. Gotta get out the... Feels thing. great. That gotta hat. put that damn thing in here. Yeah. That one might be coming out soon. <laughs> okay, so we'll start with the Esmeralda Rufio. What'd you guys get? Uh, 22. Natural one. Oh. Okay. Uh, 22 will make the save. Natural one will not. What? No way. Also, Thok, how much damage did your spiritual weapon do? 16. 16, wasn't it? It was 12. So it was 8 plus 4. 12. Okay. Okay. Sorry, I like to keep track. So you see this uh, this new pissed off wormling that you shoved in. Uh, It breathes in and it releases its cone of uh, of fire and uh, Rufio and Esmeralda, you'll take 23 points of fire damage. Obviously, you'll get yours down halved. Okay, and then we'll go to Thok. I'm going to do a separate one for you. And Thok, you will see... I failed. It's an 11. You got an 11? Yes, Mm -hmm. 11 unfortunately does fail. Uh, Thok, you will take 27 points of fire damage as... This cone just kind of goes out, and Strahd, he's like, he's lit up by the uh, the fire in the room, and it kind of dies back down. And uh, let's see here. We're going to... We'll have him take the attack of opportunity. I think it's just Rufio. Oh, yeah. Sick. Does a uh, spiritual weapon? No. no. Because it's not sentient. Gotcha. Uh, 18. 18 will hit. Nice. Reroll that, because mm-hmm. I'm allowed to. Reroll that, because I'm allowed to. Oh, so much better. 15. 18. 21. 21. Okay. Very palpable hit. Does look a little banged out. Okay. Um, it is uh, Esmeralda's turn. All right, so um, let's see. Esmeralda is going to go ahead and uh, move 30 feet of movement. So 5, 10, 15, 20. I'm going to come over here and be like, not bad, babe. Check this out. And then go 25, 30. And I'm going to just go ahead and rub my hands together and be like, wink. And I'm going to cast Lightning Bolt. Onto? Uh, onto the... Uh, wormling that he hit, which means it's also going to catch Rahadin behind it. Okay. So I'll make, make that a... Dex Dave. Hola. De- dex Dave? Dex Dave. Hola. <laughs> My Dex is, uh, Dex Dave for you me is a 14. For a 14? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then I'll do the Wormling. Say hello okay. to my little friend. What's the DC on, on Lightning, though? Does it go off yours? It goes off, yeah. It's, yeah, it's, it's based on character. Oh, really? So, okay. Uh, Ooh, Lord. No, it gets re-rolled. Because it didn't fit in. It's okay. I didn't do great anyways. Uh, 12, 15, 18, 20, 25, 26 points of damage. 26, so the uh, dragon is going to be Kaputsky. 
Got it? Yeah, I got it. Okay. Yeah. And you see oh. Rahadin, and he manages to kind of push his chair back as the, the lightning bolt kind of strikes his leg. Fuck. Yo. Pets. Okay. Uh, end of your turn? Uh, yeah, that will go ahead and um, end it, yeah. And Rahadin is going to look at Strahd, and Strahd's going to go, have fun. And you see Rahadin, he takes off the, the cloak... And he's in this awesome, just black studded armor. It looks fucking badass as hell. Hey, can I have that when I kill you? I don't, I'm afraid it's not going to fit you, is oh, it? Oh, I hope maybe if I stretch it. Okay, I need... Let's see here. What's the speed? Is the spiritual weapon concentration? No. Okay. So... He is going to move. Thirty-five. So you didn't quite run into this before, but as Raden kind of lets off his airs, you see him kind of crick his neck. Very graceful in the way he walks. I need you to make a wisdom save for me. You're good at that, right? Yeah. It all depends how I roll. Ugh. 13. Okay, 13. So as he gets closer to you, you start hearing the wails of the men and women he's killed as they pierce into your head and you're going to take... I can't see my book's covering it. One. One and one. You take uh, 20 points of psychic damage. As this pierces into your soul and then he's actually going to attack... And he's going to uh, attack with his scimitar on you. 13? Miss. Okay. <laughs> Figured. Uh, and a 19. Miss. 19 misses. Yep. Okay. And you see him and he's just kind of slashing at you and you're able to kind of... Uh, Strahd is just going to... <sighs> Sigh. Uh, Rufio, we're back up to you. Yeah, we are, bitch. Uh, sorry, I don't mean to call you a bitch. Uh, let's see. 5, 10, 15, 20. Yeah, that looks about right. And now I'm going to cast Lightning Bolt again. And Rahadin and Strahd both need to make dexterity saves. Okay. 15 is the number. Can I have those d6s again? Just do damage on every everybody. Hmm, not as good as last time. Way worse, actually. Three, six, seven. Can't we roll nothing? <laughs> no, I can't. It's only on melee. Uh. Six, seven, nine, eleven, twelve, fourteen, seventeen. Seventeen points of lightning. Seventeen points of lightning. Okay. Damage. Um, that is. Okay. Have t- to nine. And you see. Uh, uh, Rodin kind of like duck out of the way and you see it kind of stop hitting me with lightning. Don't know what to do. Uh, and Strahd. Okay. Uh, we'll move on to Thok. I just got hit by... Oh, wait. I still have another attack. Oh, I'm sorry. You're good. Um, I'm going to use the rest of my movement. I used move 20. And I'm going to fire one Eldritch Blast at this fucking thing, and then another one at Rahadin. Okay. So, God, it's been so long. Uh, that's a 13 for that guy. That'll hit. Sick. And then Rahadin oh, wow. is natural 20. Okay. Uh, so I'll do that fucking thing first. Sure. Uh, didn't bring out a D10, even though I knew I was going to need one. Toss one. I have a few right here. Oh, yeah, I will get Ooh. Oh, no. Uh, that's going to be five points of force damage on this fucking thing. Sorry. Yeah, I hear Trev. Yeah, Trev's died. <laughs> Piece of shit. Five, okay. Uh, and I think that's force damage. For force. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then... I'm being... Sorry, I'm being picky. There You're it fine. is. Okay, I got one. No, the map is pink. Yeah, I... I'm not sure. I saw that when we, I turned it on now, and I figured, eh, it's, it's rosy. Blood. 15. Yeah, it's blood. It was blood 15 the whole time. to hit. 15 force 
damage. How on... much was the hit? Oh, oh no, so that was a natural, natural So 15 for him? Okay. 15, yeah. That's fine. Yeah, yeah. And he gets pushed back. Uh... No, there's no pushback. Okay. I, I took the... And you see him, and he's like... <laughs> damage. That wasn't lightning. I've noticed. Anything else? Uh, I flip off shot, and then and I'm done. How crude. Fuck. I don't have sleeves, bro. It's kind of what I do. I've noticed. Um, seeing that I just got hit, and I'm not looking great, I'm gonna grab the holy symbol. I'm yep. gonna drop this guy's self. Okay. And hit the butt of the mace on the ground mm -hmm. and cast Barret Guardians around myself. Okay. So he has to do anything Rock. in a 15 foot radius of me. Okay, so Rodden. Has to do a wisdom saving throw. Okay. And while he's in that space. Fuck you, Rodden. I still a D8. Yeah. You, there's so many to choose from. I'll go with green. Yeah. Now, that glows in the dark. Is that anyone within that 15 foot radius? I can choose. Oh, you can choose. Okay. I can choose. So, like, my allies won't be affected. Cool. Just um, as, as like, reference. little jackals flit around me. And that'll be. Ooh, not bad. 18, 18 uh, radiant damage. Uh, that's on a fail? That's on a fail, 18. Okay. 9 on a success. Okay. Um, and they'll stay up for 10 minutes. And his movement is halved. Okay. While he's in this area, and he has to make that save. Every time he finishes his turn or starts his turn? That's where I can never remember. I believe it starts his turn inside the area. I also believe that. If I'm not mistaken, I think. In all the critical role I've watched. You can designate any number of creatures, the effect speed. The first time on a turn or starts its turn there. So at the beginning of its turn. Okay. Uh, so, <clears throat> excuse me. So now we are on to, are you done? Um, or what else? Anything oh, else? bonus action. I'll bring the spiritual. Okay. Bring it to you to Rodden. Okay. Yes. And attack him with it. Mm-hmm. Where are you? Oh my god! Ugh, no. That's a 11. Nah. No, 11 doesn't hit. <laughs> nah. The giant bust nah, of dog, that ain't me. misses. <laughs> He's like, is that a dog? It's a Anubis, you dumb bitch. And, and uh, that's it. Shrugs like you are a little uncultured. <laughs> um, so it's going to be dragon turn. Come at me, sluts. And oh, so no. the first is going to do because, well, we'll see if he can recharge it. <laughs> okay. And we have, as you see, the uh, dragon in front of you is starting to charge. And then the other dragon, as you hear behind you, because he didn't do his yet, is going to recharge as well. So I'm just going to double it. Do I make a deck save? Yeah, you'll make a deck save. Seven. Nah. <laughs> deck saves. Not my thing. That ain't great. <laughs> what you gonna do, you know? Okay. Um, between the two of them, you take 44 points of fire damage. Sick. Oh, boy. As you thought, you turn around and you just see these two dragons just, <gasps> and they just fucking unleash onto Rufio. They don't get any residual damage between them. They have resistance, so they'll get residual for it. They'll still get a little bit mm -hmm. though, right? Yeah. Okay. Just making sure. Just, just trying to. You're fine. <laughs> don't worry, big guy. They're still getting hurt. Okay. I'm just making sure. Okay. And you need me. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh. All right. And then they're just kind of. Strahd's gonna... Oh. <laughs> Fun. Uh, Esmeralda. Okay. Um, let's see here. I'm sorry. I, he sent me her stat sheet, so I have to kind of take a look at that. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't remember. Tight. Okay, so um, I'm going to... Uh, run up, so that way I am behind Rahadin. Mm hmm And that way I can attack at advantage. And your girl gonna start swinging. Uh, swing. <laughs> swing! Swing, swing, swing. Um, and also, uh, she has three attacks. So. Okay. Uh, and she's at advantage, thank god. 
Uh, so the first attack with uh, the her rapier is uh, 17 to hit. 17 will hit. 17 will hit. Okay, so that means the first one is going to be uh, 1d8 plus 5. 13 points of damage. Okay. Second attack. Uh, 16 to hit. 16 won't hit. 16 won't hit. And then the third attack is not going to be with the rapier, but my silver short sword. Okay. So uh, that is a 26. And so 26. Yeah, 26 will hit. Fuck okay. you, Rahadin! And then that is going B- to be... <laughs> bitch-ass, punk-ass, bitch-ass. Uh, six points of silvered short sword damage. Okay. Uh, it is going to be Rahadin's turn. Wisdom save. Okay, we'll do the wisdom save. And while we do that, uh, I need both of you to make wisdom saves as well. Both of... Uh, I need uh, Esmeralda and Thok. Okay. I was like, um, I'm so far away. Okay. Do you want to give me the damage for the wisdom save? 20 total. 20. Okay. I rolled two eights and a four. And you see him light up <clears throat> with radiant damage, but you both hear the wails of all those tortured souls. That's a 17. Oh, uh, no, sorry. 19. 19? For 13. Me. 13. Okay. So, uh, Thok, you do make the save. Uh, Esmeralda, unfortunately, you do not. That is... Three. Is okay. it a half? So, yours will be half. Okay. Okay, so you take uh, 14 points, uh, 7, of uh, psychic damage. And he is going to look at the both of you, and he is going to look at Strahd and go, We stick with the plan. And Strahd goes, Yes, we have to wait for the rest of the guests to arrive. Then why are you attacking us now? Because... You need to be excited and rejuvenated for the party. And Rodin's gonna make an archaic symbol and he is going to Misty Step. Take a he is going to go straight through the the wall. Oh, perfect. Rodin is off the field. And Strahd is... This is all very droll and... Well... It has been fun. I, mu- I must admit that. I'm sure Straw will have a lovely time with all of you. Wait, what? And you see the image of this specter. Oh, fucking hell. Uh, we will go back to Rufio's turn. <sighs> you son of a fucking cunt. Um, so these aren't directly on top. They're not within melee damage, right? Right. They're not. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go five, fall down, 10, <laughs> 15, 20, 25, 30. Mm-hmm. I'm going to bring out Staff of Frost. Oh. And I'm going to cast Cone of Cold, which is in 60 feet cone, which means fuck that other one too. Uh, it's a 15 con save. It's a con save? Uh, yeah. Okay. Josh, I have a question. Do I look bothered? Bothered? Yeah. Yeah, you look real bothered. What is bothered? Okay. Go ahead. (laughs) You're right there, Thok. Going on. Doing (laughs) math. That's oh. why I use a Texas Instrument graphing calculator. 37 points of cold frost, whatever the fuck you want to call and it. Boop to both of them. The uh, nice so rocks. we will put that two and two. Uh, I get another attack, by the way. Go for it. So I'm going to do it again. Go for it. It's a 15 con. I mean, you I know. tell me if it killed them, right? Right. Okay. You see this frost start to go over them, and it you see this fine... Like snow, and it just slowly starts melting off on the back of them. Fuck you! Mm. <laughs> You're not my dad! Count, count them. Oh, 10, 11, 14, 18, uh, 21, 27, 33. 
33? Yes. Okay. Oh, oh I did make the, the save for the first one. Okay. Do, 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 do. Okay. Alright, so... Alright, so that one looks... How are like, they looking? Uh, I'm gonna get to that in uh, just one hot minute, my guy. Four. Okay, they both pretty, look pretty banged up. Uh, it is now Fox turn. Um... I literally just noticed that, too. <laughs> Seeing that he's gone... I'm gonna run in this direction. Okay. So that they're within 15 feet of me. Okay. Uh, so both of them have to make a wisdom save. I still like this one because it's rolling well. Okay. So What's the save for it? Uh, the wisdom, uh, 15, and it's a 14 damage total if it fails. Seven. It's a 14 flat. Is yeah seven if it's halved. Um, so that was my movement, my action or bonus action. I'm gonna move spiritual weapon. Give me one moment before you do that. This one's gone. Uh, you got the one yeah. left. Okay. Um, it's not gonna make it, but I'm still gonna move it. Okay. I mean, it's on the start it. of its turn. It has to make another one. Um, uh, also, my I expended both. Uh, all 10 slots for the thingy. Okay. And I rolled a four, so it's still up. Okay. Just wanted everybody to know. Great. And then as I my... thought you did that each day. No. It's if you expend all 10 slots, if you roll a one, it disappears into water. Oh. But That's I don't have any charges anymore. So. Gotcha. Yeah. Not today. Uh, and then my action, I'm going to do Sacred Flame again. Okay. So that's a dex of 15. All right, and what? Uh, roll your damage. Uh, it doesn't take damage if it's success. Just okay. Let, just letting you know. Um, that's 7, 6, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 damage. Okay. So you see this radiant spiritual fire engulf this red wormling as you see f pieces of it flick off, and soon it dissipates and burns out as it turns into a pile of ash. Oh, jeez. Uh, Rufio falls to a knee and is fucked up. I'm not that great either. I, I feel like Tibble right now, but I don't <laughs> know it. Okay. So, Esmeralda's gonna run over to Rufio and be like, are you alright? No. <laughs> it's real convenient. I have no healing spells. <laughs> awesome. Where the fuck did he go? Yeah, he's, uh... It's tricky. Rufio is literally laying on his back at this moment, and okay. it's just like... Oh, you don't look great. I mean, probably feel worse than I. Well, you know what? No, I forgot about this thing. But yeah, okay. I'm gonna touch him and cast cure wounds at first level, it's just so. Okay. He's at least a little bit more than before. That's eight. Let me double check. One cure wounds. plus four. Yeah. So eight, eight heal. Okay. And. I'm gonna do the same thing to myself. <laughs> I'm not looking great either. I almost went down. Yeah? Ooh. I had four hit points left. Sick. Eight, yeah. Eight plus four, or six, twelve. For Good. Me. I'm glad. I'm glad you're I mean, I got me. double cone fire blasted <laughs> in the ass, so. That's, man, sounds like Friday. Like, <laughs> <laughs> sounds like a good time. <laughs> um, and then I'm just going to uh, grab onto the rock and be like, Absidy, shot, dirt, where are you? We need your help in the dining hall now. Okay, and I think that'll be a good kind of segue to that. Uh, we are about uh, at a buck thirty, so I don't know if you want to just yeah, make the dinner with Strahd, and then we'll move into the final kind of we'll, uh, battle. We'll cut it here. Yeah, take a uh, quick pause. Josh had so much fun. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Number one. Recon. Number one customer. Uh, yeah, so we'll pick up where we are right now next episode. Um, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, tell me how to make better dexterity saving throws and uh, we'll see you guys next time just be better yeah see ya <laughs>